Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Master Switch Designs. Today I'm going to be talking about my niche research process. So everybody that's on a print-on-demand website knows that in order to get sales, you need to find the best niches. But in reality, nobody really talks about how to go about finding these niches or what is the best way to do so. So in this series of videos, I'm going to be explaining the processes and the steps that I take in order to find the best niches. So without wasting any more time, we'll get right on with the video. So today's strategy is one of my favorite niche research strategies. Um, I've always used this even in tier 10. It's helped me to get a lot of sales. Um, so you can use this strategy whenever there are any trends going around or you or you're out of ideas and this strategy really helps you to come up with new niche research ideas um, to help you with your sales. So the first step in this process is to look at this picture over here. These are the top 30 evergreen niches on Merch by Amazon. And obviously um, you can use these niches on other print on demand websites like Redbubble or uh, Printful. So these are the top 30 niches that are continuously selling on any print on demand website. I'll put an image on my Instagram, uh, which is at Master Switch Designs. Um, go follow me, um, look this picture up, and you can see the top 30 niches that are evergreen on any print on demand website. So, since Amazon has become really saturated with a number of designers, it's really difficult to find one of these niches to sell in. So, what I do is I add the two niches up to make a more narrower niche for me to work in. So what you can do is select any of the two words that are listed on this image over here. Uh, we'll, we'll do an example right after this. So what you do is select those two words, put them down in Merchant Informer and see what comes up. And hopefully, I have always found a several designs that I want to work in just by this method. So it's, it's not a lot of hard work. Um, you can find some great niches here and some great designs. So we'll just do an example right now. So this is one of my favorite websites for Merch by Amazon. Um, it's called Merch Informer. I'm going to be putting a link of this website in the description below. So go check it out. So as I said before, the first step is to select any two words that you think are really cool on, um, on, on, on the image before. Um, you can select any two words. They don't even have to relate to each other. So for this example, I'm going to be showing you two words that have no connection whatsoever ever, but still you'll find several designs that are selling on Amazon or any other print on demand website. So for this example, we're going to be selecting uh, dinosaur and sunflower. So uh, we, we want to be in the US and um, you can obviously change that into um, UK or Germany. Unfortunately, they don't have the other um, countries listed in here. Um, and you can select t-shirts, uh, hoodies, or whatever you like. I usually go with t-shirts because there are more options and more designs to see. So just quickly hit search and see what comes up. Um, usually what I like to do is select one word that I'm passionate about. Um, for example, if I like fishing or if I like to play golf, I usually put that word in there and I use another uh, I use another niche word uh, that's also on that image over here. Um, one thing that really helps with that, if you are also part of Facebook groups that so if you're part of a Facebook group group that has um, that's about golf or about fishing, um, you can always post these designs um, in there and there are going to be people that are going to be wanting those designs. So make sure you look for designs and look for niches that you are passionate about already and you know other people that are passionate about. It just really helps with those sales. So as you can see, once we've put in dinosaur sunflower, you've got about 125 results. Um, so this is Amazon's choice. Um, t-shirts which which is absolutely crazy like in a million in years I would have never thought about this design um, and there aren't a lot of t-shirts that are selling on with that with that with that design so obviously you can make something similar to this see the BSR rating is about 600,000 which is great 
Um, definitely there are other designs, 400,000 which are selling. Um, there aren't any other designs that are basically selling dinosaur, dinosaur sunflower, which I would always predict. But see, you did find an Amazon's Choice design which with less competition and high BS and lower BSR ratings, which if I were you and I wanted to design a t-shirt, this is the niche that I would go for at the moment. Um, so obviously you can look, look at the title and you can put that title in the search bar and you can find other products that look exactly like it and see how the competition is doing. Um, if the number of results are low, about 300, 400, um, definitely good to go in that niche. So we're just going to see how many um, uh, t-shirts are with that same title. So I'm just going to copy the title, paste it over here and see the results that we get. Hopefully it's not too much. So it's only 33 results uh, in, in novelty and more. So I'm assuming there's going to be more t-shirts in that design um, if, if you put it into all. So this is a great niche. So this so doing this process, you found a niche that works, um, that has sales and has low competition. Um, this is a perfect niche for you. Uh, go ahead, make this design and hopefully you'll get some sales even if you are a tier 10. So like I said, it's a really simple process, um, only two steps. Got to look at this picture over here, um, look at two uh, niches that you are interested in, um, type them together um, in Merch Informer, see the designs that come up and see if anything that catches your eye. Make a design on that and hopefully get those sales. So if you did like this video, please hit that like button, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, follow me on Instagram, see my designs and see if something that you like. Um, that is it for today. Watch out for part two. Uh, I'm going to be posting. I'm going to be posting another uh, niche research process just like this, um, in order to help you get sales. Thank you.